are the sons and daughters of everythingness. We are a relationship to everythingness. A relationship that we cannot escape and that which is also our glory. Now, I'm not, not saying something unscientific here. In fact, the competent scientist who is a humanly sensitive person as well, experiences infinite mystery behind, beneath, beyond, within the surrounding things that the scientist studies. The honest scientist is the one who can say, the more we know about nature, the more we know we don't know. It's a magical thing. I mean, Einstein didn't end physics. He just expanded it into a whole new plethora of mysteries that are more mysterious to most physicists than that the world looked when they were looking at it through Newton's uh, way of looking at it. The more we know about nature, the more we know we don't know. That's just saying that the mystery of life is inescapable for anybody who just wakes up. So I want to share a little ritual with you to help you experience this personally. It goes like this. Duh! 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 It helps if you slobber just a little bit. Okay, you ready? I'll try that with me. Duh! Human being is absolutely ignorant before the final mystery. <laughs> Pack up all our knowledge, all that you think you know, and, and compare it with infinity, and it's zero. The contemplative starts with unknowing. Unknowing. The human-centered ego mind doesn't like that. The contemplative starts with unknowing. Here's the great thing about the word contemplative. Um, it's one of the only words in the shared global poetry of profundity uh, that hasn't been ruined, that hasn't been uh, adulterated, that hasn't been uh, perverted, hasn't been inverted, hasn't been molested, hasn't been twisted, hasn't been changed, hasn't been totally uh, wrecked by popular culture uh, to the point that it has no meaning at all. I'll tell you why. The contemplative always starts with negation. Always starts with negation. What does the contemplative negate? The human-centered wish and the human-centered wisdom and the ego mind. And when that negation happens, we are delivered to an encounter with awe, uh, with mystery-centered reality, uh, which allows us to then connect and the contemplative tries to structure their entire life around rehearsing, remembering, recreating that encounter. Because it's that encounter that delivers us to authentic life, to authentic peace, to authentic hope, to authentic healing, authentic guidance, authentic nurture, authentic comfort, and only that path, but it starts with a negation uh, because the contemplative is the one who leaves uh, behind the certain for the uncertain, the, the known for the unknown, uh, leaves behind time for the timeless, the finite for the infinite, and goes on a journey to connect uh, with that uh, all the time. The contemplative is one who seeks to love that mystery-centered reality more than anything else, and secondly, ignores everything else in order to love that reality, and finally, understands that the first thing to go is the mind. The first thing to go is human rationality, because we get delivered into darkness, uh, into a cloud of unknowing, which for the rest of one's existence mediates between us and that ultimate infinite object that we seek to love. Unknowing is our most natural state. Socrates, St. Augustine, and Thomas Aquinas 
used reason not to explain existence, but to deliver their students and the seeker of truth into an ultimate encounter with unknowing and a state of awe. The unknown is the superfluous part of the average human. To enter into the marvels of this world or into the marvels of another world, a man needs to be a warrior, calm, collected, indifferent, seasoned by the onslaughts of the unknown. I am awakening to my new mystery-centered environment of unknowing. This awakening is both disturbing and alluring. As I seek to nurture my awakening, I do so through a special gateway of which I have now become aware and which surrounds and penetrates every dimension of my life, the gateway of silence. Through this gateway of silence, my transformation awaits. I venture forth. Come with me.